There's no doubt in my mind that uncertainty is hitting the housing market and mortgage market. Matt DeFiti, Realty Executives, Elite Homes, and in this edition of Living in Nutley, we're going to look at the housing market and why so many people are calling for a crash, but a lot more people are not calling for a crash. And the one thing we do know is we have uncertainty right now. And the one thing we do know is that mortgage rates are going up. But does that mean it's going to drive down the price of homes in 2022 and 2023? So let's look at some things here. I sat down and I jotted down a couple things, so I have my little handy note sheet here. No doubt about it, rates are going to rise. But really, inflation is the enemy of long-term interest rates. Remember that. Inflation is the enemy. All right? Now, for the past decade, we've had pretty low interest rates. Right now, it is May 4th, <clears throat> and we are hovering around five and a quarter for the average 30-year fixed mortgage. That's not so bad if you look back historically at what mortgage rates did and also what home appreciation did. Everybody tends to think that with higher rates, home prices are going to retreat. That only happened on one or two occasions in the past 100 years. We know it happened in 08 and sometime in the early 90s, somewhere around there. So here's what some of the experts are saying, that appreciation is going to slow. With the rise of inflation and the rise of rates, inflation is going to chip away at appreciation rates. And we're looking at a slowdown of appreciation, but they're still predicting appreciation through 2027. And buyers may think right now, hey, let's just wait and see what happens. Hopefully the market will crash and we'll buy into it. Well, the bad news for buyers is it seems that even with higher rates, less buyers, yes, longer times on market, yes, less transactions, but home prices are still going to appreciate for the next decade. So think about it. Rather than, let's say, 2 million people buying a home, maybe a million people will buy homes. But does that mean they're going to be paying less for the homes that they buy? Most likely not. Most likely not. So what we're looking at, and the Fed said it yesterday, basically every meeting they have, they're going to raise the interest rate by a half a point, or what they call 50 basis points. I don't know what that means. All I know is that it may translate into a mortgage rate hike. Now, remember, when the Fed says that they are raising rates, it doesn't mean that mortgage rates are going up. It most certainly, most of the time does, but that's the overnight lending rate from bank to bank. That's what that is, okay? It's the overnight lending rate. And remember, inflation is the enemy of interest rates, okay? Now, when we looked at historical data and when we looked at decades past where the interest rates rise or actually have risen, home prices actually have gone up a bit. Remember what I said. We're going to have less transactions in 2022 than we did in 2021. That's because a lot of the buyer pools are going to just sit back or they get knocked out and they can't afford a home. But that doesn't mean that prices are going to retreat. What that means is it may help build up inventory and it may help us you know, go back to a more normal settled market. We also have, you know, the whole demand thing. We have massive, strong demand. Now, will demand wean as interest rates go up? Some people think so. But the demand is so high, how will it affect sales? All right. I think what we're looking at is probably a fizzle of the market, not a pop. I think you're going to see appreciation rates slow throughout the year. Um, I don't think you're going to see home prices start to retreat. You're going to see supply chains still have to catch up and new builds got to get out there and less people on the market to take this back to a, a, a nice, normal market. So that's what's going on right now. If you have any questions, Matt DeFiti, Realty Executives, Elite Homes, have a great day.